Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tarifyhealing.com. I hope you're doing really well. This reading is for Pisces. So I'm just shuffling up the Anna K Tarot. This reading is going to be for the 30th of May through to the 5th of June. And um, we're going to see what is going to be coming up in your cards, Pisces. So let's give it a go. Let's see. Um, Pisces. 30th of May, 5th of June, you have the Knight of Rods with the Hermit with the Tower. Okay, interesting cards you have. Underneath is Justice. I'll show you that one. Justice underneath. Okay, and then you have with your Energy Oracle cards. Okay, Pisces, you have yin and yang. So what do you need to bring into balance, Pisces? What is that about? Now, the Knight of Rods, the first thing I thought is, who are you fighting, Pisces? <laughs> or what are you trying to get through? Because it's like, this card is, you know, the way this Knight looks, it's like an uphill battle. What uphill battle are you trying to fight? Because I almost feel like you, um, this card is almost giving me the sense of feeling some kind of resistance to a direction that you're trying to go in or something that you're really trying to push for and you just really feel like it's just been super challenging but you're still trying you're still fighting you you still it's like you can't give up you can't let yourself give up but at the same time it's just been so difficult and the thing that the cards um in the middle i feel like is saying with the hermit is the hermit is almost trying to tell you that if you've been just struggling so hard towards something and really pushing for something and it's just been you know you're not really seeing the results i feel like the hermit is saying that you have to fall back on your wisdom it's not about working hard, but it's about working smart. And with the hermit, I feel like there is something maybe that you are missing. There's something that you know and you understand, but you may not be relying on that at this time. And it's telling you that you need to. The hermit it also could be saying that there might be somebody that is actually trying to guide you in some kind of way. And maybe you're not really paying attention to them. Somebody that has some kind of wisdom to impart. Something that can be really helpful to you at the same time. So do, you know, bear in mind that if there is somebody that can actually assist you that has more experience than you do. Or just a bit more know-how or knowledge. Like you definitely should open up to this person in terms of like listening and really receiving what they have to say. Um, the tower card is saying that there's going to be some kind of breakthrough, some kind of development. And I think that um, I feel like these developments, especially with the tower, can take place very suddenly and in a way that you didn't even expect. And um, especially when I look at the cards, because it's almost like this knight looks like he's prepared for the disaster to happen. But then this hermit looks like he's completely oblivious to it all in some kind of way. So what is making me think is that I feel like a breakthrough can happen almost when you're not struggling and trying so hard. And sometimes that's how the universe is. It's like sometimes we try and try and try for something and we don't get it. And it's like as soon as we decide, you know, I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm just going to see what happens. Then something finally happens. And so that's kind of what I'm getting with these cards. And so that's why I might be saying, you know, instead of just working hard, focus on working smart. Um, because I feel like that can really help you. How the yin and yang card may be coming together is what I sense intuitively, especially in, connect in, in connection to your tarot cards, is that I feel like it's asking you to balance these two energies together. Now, the hermit is the kind of person that he's, he, um, he will be the type to more do things on his own because the hermit is a bit of a loner. It's like he... He prefers his own space. He prefers being by himself. Um, and to be honest, the hermit may not be the kind of person that really wants to be shaken up out of his comfort zone. But with the tower, it feels like he's going to be. Um, I also feel like the tower with the hermit could also be saying that there may be something on a spiritual level. You may be enlightened to something that you didn't really realize before. And the justice card is kind of telling me, um, for some of you guys, be careful when it comes to legal matters, because I feel like a legal matter might be showing up for you, and that might be something unexpected that you didn't realize. 
like maybe you might have to go to court for something or have to you know pay something kind of fine or something so it could be showing up in that way as well but what i'm kind of seeing with this yin and yang is is saying that you need to bring things back into balance for yourself I feel like um sometimes your desires might be really strong at this time and it also and it, it and it may get you into situations um that may that you may not turn out to be so beneficial to you. That's kind of what I feel. Um because I almost feel like when I look at these cards it I really get this sense of the hermit is trying to the hermit is almost like that elderly person that is telling their grandson not to be so reckless but they're being reckless anyway and then when things kind of becomes disastrous you know <laughs> that it's too late <laughs> almost and then that's when they get in trouble like that's when there's some kind of price to pay so um i would also say be careful of accidents speeding any kind of thing like that in a car um i would say be careful of anything that just that you feel like just doing on a whim kind of thing especially if you're a young Pisces, <laughs> you know, because that's kind of what I sense, this is talking about a young person, I don't sense this as a more old and more mature Pisces, I kind of see it as a younger person, or even if it's not you directly, you may be dealing with somebody that's like this, because this card can also be represent a fire sign person, so it, this could even be your child, and um, being a bit reckless, or something like that, um, or uh, somebody that you know, a, a younger person that you know and you might be the one trying to tell them you know you have to slow down you have to you know be more sensible and then something happens because they didn't listen so um either way i think it's just about listening and observing and everything um and the yin and yang aspect of that could be that if you are dealing with somebody that's a fire sign it may be saying that maybe you have to kind of it might be difficult for you to understand where they're coming from or how they are in some ways um so if there's a fire sign in your life that you're having any kind of challenges with it might be saying that maybe you have to kind of work with this person um and kind of be patient with them because somebody may somebody around you may have a completely different energy to yours um and i kind of feel like they're, they're a loved one of yours and so if you find that they're just not really listening to you or receptive to you, just understand that they're a different sign to you. <laughs> so it can be that, you know, your approach to things may be different to their approach to things. And, um, you know, but the thing is, is that sometimes, you know, you can bring the positives of, of opposites together, like the yin and yang, and you can create a really good situation. You know, opposites sometimes do attract. And there's always something that you can learn from somebody that is the opposite of you. So, you know, but it's again, it's just about taking the good qualities of, of both opposites and kind of using them in a way that creates, you know, a balanced um, perspective or outlook or outcome. So that's what I see in these cards. But either way, it's, it's yeah, th those are the cards for the week. And peace and many blessings to you, Pisces. Have a good week. Bye.